Hi and welcome to another edition of The Travel Geek. I'm Kyle O'Donnell and this is the Book Review of the Week. This week I'm going to be talking about Leon Hearn and his series of warrior tales. Technically he wrote a trilogy called the Otori Tales. That was the marketing aspect of his books. However, there is a prequel and a sequel to that trilogy making it five books in all. They're excellent. I can't say enough uh, about these books. Reading through any one of the five books it's like reading a very long extended poem. Unfortunately, I don't have the first two books, uh, the prequel or book one, because I, I read them and I gave them away already. They're too good to keep to yourself after you've read them and, and not read them. But I do have uh, the second and the third book in the set. I, I have yet to read the final book, but it's definitely on the, on the to-do list. I won't talk about the prequel or the sequel, but the first book, Across the Nightingale Floor, introduces all the characters that are, that are the main players in the book and it follows them through uh, the entire trilogy. Um, some of them are killed off, some of them are, you know, fall in love with the most unlikely people, some of them uh, become traitors. The poetry written in these books weaves uh, just a tapestry of everything from deceit to bravery to tyranny to betrayal. And it even has a huge sense of mysticism that's carried through various tribes. I'll try not to ruin it for you, but Leon Hearn, I, I found out through some of my investigation of him, went to Japan and spent several months there entrenched doing research about these books. He went and he talked to people about the old samurai ways and, and how villages were constructed and, and what were the mentalities of people and what were their isms and beliefs, uh, what were the traditional activities, what, what type of culture existed at that time, and, and it's, it shines through. These books drip with the description of being in the old days of, of, of Japan. I haven't traveled extensively through Japan, uh, especially not enough to know what the old ways were, what that feel was, but I, I think that these books do probably the best job of any book of the time. But these novels are probably the best example of historical fiction that comes close to putting the reader in that sort of time and place. They're really amazing. So anyway, that's my recommendation for this week. Remember the series, Tales of the Otori by Leon Hearn. Go out and find yourself a copy. Thanks for watching and be sure to stop by kyleodonnell.com slash travelgeek. Thanks a lot. Bye.